Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This is Fishman Vlog number 87, and I'm finally getting around to a bunch of the projects I've mentioned <laughs> so many times over the last little while. And first up is getting a pair of zebra daniels in this tank. I mean, he's such a lovely male, and I'm hoping that, uh, well, they will lay eggs. Uh, it's very difficult not to breed zebra daniels. And I'm hoping to get some fry and, of course, raise them up. So, sorry about all the glare, by the way. I really do need to do something about that. Anyway, they'll be in here for a little while. I will probably uh, leave them in here for about three or four days. And then I'll pull them up, put them back in the tank they came from. And we'll see uh, some fry from them, most likely. I'm still astounded by this plant. It should not do so well in this particular setup. But, as you can see, it is getting enormous. Another project I've been meaning to uh, do for a few videos now is to start pruning some of the plants. So I'm going to snip off this dead leaf here and get to a bunch of other ones actually. There's a, one tank you're going to see here in a little bit is just a crazy amount of plants growing in it. It definitely needs to be pruned back drastically. So this is doing, it's doing okay, this uh, couple of clippings I took. Uh, this here of course is doing really, really well. I suspect the clippings for uh, the rabbit's foot fern will gradually take off. It, it does take a little time to get going, uh, but once it does, it does grow really well. And as you can see, there's more and more leaves coming out of this pot, and I actually think that little teeny flower pot uh, filter is uh, definitely something I actually like, which is kind of cool. And you see that little guppy that's on the leaf there? Uh, it doesn't. It isn't doing well, so one of the things I have to do here is uh, call out a bunch of these guppies because when I prune that other tank I want to put a whole pile more babies in this. So I have for the last I think month almost now uh, stopped using microworms and I've switched over to using uh, vinegar eels for the small uh, fry and of course these cultures here for uh, the slightly larger ones. It is hitting upon the amount of um, well organisms that are in these jars by using them for feeds but I mean that is the purpose of them. I mean, you can see some of them here are still doing quite well and I also I've been using these to uh, inoculate and get that other tank started uh, so I think I'm ahead of the game as far as the number of um, you know organisms I have to feed fish without having to use microworms. Again it, it is a little early yet so we'll see hopefully in the next few weeks uh, this tank take off and I'm not entirely sure uh, whether I'm going to keep the filter in here. I mean, the jars aren't filtered. Uh, there's nothing in them except, of course, uh, the organisms and some hay. Now, there are a fair amount of cyclopses, and I do see uh, Daphne and other stuff in here as well. But, as you can see, it is not teeming yet. It's starting to take off, but it, it's not there. I mean, you'll see them flitting around from here to, and there. But, I want this to really thrive. So I may have to take the filter out of here and just put a very small trickle of air, probably like in the back corner or something, just to get a bit of turnover on this. Because I definitely don't want this to, you know, stink up the fish room or anything. But, it, you know, I'll, I'm going to let it go for another week. If it starts to take off, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, if you remember from last year, I had uh, the Daphne culture with an undergrowl filter that was doing really, really well. So uh, I don't think it's that, but we'll see. So here you go. These are, they're just such lovely fish. These are female uh, gardener Achilles. The male's back there with one or two females at the moment. I'm actually just getting to the point where I really like this aquarium, this style of setup. I know it is only technically using half the volume of water, but as you can see, it stays crystal clear. Uh, the guppy, oh sorry, the gardener can't jump out, so I don't have to lid this at all. Uh, it, it is just actually a nice setup. I'm really happy with it. So this is the start of the culling process. Uh, most of these are perfectly fine. There are some runts, ones that are just not growing well. And this one here is the one that triggered the whole process. Uh, it just needs to come out. And that particular individual right there is the kind of fry that I would... Um, well, not euthanize. I, well, I, technically, I guess it's the same thing in the end. I have some larger fish in the fish room, and it would probably just get tossed in there and be fed off. Most of the other ones that I'm taking out of this tank, actually all of them, are going to go into a 15-gallon tank uh, of their own, uh, mostly because they just don't really 
uh, look the way I want them to, or they're not growing as fast as they should, like this one here. And I will uh, put them in there, keep them there long enough that they get big enough that I can move them out to a client's aquarium, and then uh, they'll live out their lives there. So for the most part, that's how I like to deal with culls. And as you can see, there's one or two with a bit of a bent spine, uh, the usual kinds of things you get when you're raising uh, large amounts of fry. But mostly it's just they either don't quite have the shape I want, or they're just not thriving well enough. So these are all going to come out. They're all going to go in that other aquarium. They'll eventually uh, go off to clients, or if uh, like that one particular one get fed to something. And this is what I was talking about. This tank is just stupid overgrown. Uh, it is just ridiculous. And I am going to uh, prune this all back. That's the major project I took on uh, this week. Uh, and there's one other thing. This is going to be part of its own video, but this is the pot I put together with phallus and area and uh, cow manure. And as you can see, it is not doing well. It's just not growing. Um, here's the <laughs> here's my fish room boss coming for the usual nose around, poking stuff, and see what's going on. And of course, you know, scratches. You gotta have scratches. So I am going to probably put a video next week about what I think is happening with cow manure in those pots and I am repotting that particular one over to uh, soil and gravel like all the other ones and I'm not doing anything to it other than that it's going right back into the exact same aquarium and I'm gonna see if it will take off uh, <laughs> there are so many plants in that tank uh, this is just a bunch of cuttings that I didn't have enough pots for and I potted up I think it was seven pots out of that one aquarium just that one aquarium full of Luigia and you can see how much is left over <laughs> these guys all went over here because well I'm over on the other end of the tank piling in a bunch of plants and they thought eh, maybe it's just safer over here these guys are doing really well I mean I really do need to again as I keep saying get around to uh, setting this tank up for them so they can breed so here it is, this is the pond, and you can see I've just grounged every last pot I had uh, from some of the experiments that I took down and just potted everything up here. Uh, I think there's five or six of them in this tank, and then there is still two in the original tank that they came from. And here it is, it's obviously stirred up quite a bit. I moved all the fry from this into the pond, and then I moved a whole pile of fry, the smaller ones, into here. Uh, just to give them uh, you know, more room to grow out, and of course they'll all end up going to the pond. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below about all this, and like I said, next week I will set up that uh, the reasons why I think the cow manure didn't work. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.